Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you the two best eyeshadow shapes for if you have hooded eyes. But first I kind of want to get into what hooded eyes are and what makes them so difficult to apply makeup to in the first place. So I'm going to be showing you some pictures here of hooded eyes versus non hooded eyes just so we can kind of get a feel for what we're working with here. So in this first picture, there is a non-hooded eye on the left and a hooded eye on the right. So you can really see the difference here. Basically the space of your eyelid that is showing is a lot smaller when you have hooded eyes. So I'm gonna point out here the crease of the eye. When people are talking about the crease of your eye, it's actually where your eye folds. And on the person on the left, that crease is really high up their eye socket. Person on the right, that crease is almost right on the lash line there. So you can see that if they were to put any eyeshadow on that part of their eye, it would be gone when they open their eye. And that's the issue here with hooded eyes is that you can do beautiful eye makeup when your eyes close, but when you open them, it looks totally different or it pretty much disappears. Having hooded eyes is not a bad thing though. There are a lot of celebrities with hooded eyes, a lot of people who are considered very beautiful that have hooded eyes. Some examples here are Jennifer Lawrence, Nicole Kidman, and Blake Lively, all very beautiful women. Even the famous Jennifer Aniston, who never ages, actually has hooded eyes. If we zoom in, we can see that. So I'm just gonna show you some comparisons of a non-hooded eye like this one versus a hooded eye like Blake Lively's eyes. Um, she just has a lot less eyelid space to work with when her eye is open. Katy Perry has beautiful, big, round eyes. She has a lot of eyelid space. Emma Stone, another person with hooded eyes. Again, this doesn't make you less beautiful or anything like that, but once you learn how to work with the eyeshadow around your eye shape, you can actually have some fun with some makeup. This is an example of a really intense hooded eye. Um, also an example of mature eyes. As gravity works its magic on us all, uh, our eyes will tend to sag, so more mature ladies tend to have more droopy and hooded eyes as well. So this is also a really good technique for mature eyes. So this is kind of an example of an ideal eye shape where your makeup looks the same when your eye is closed and open because you have a lot of lid space that doesn't really crease down the middle of it um, or move around much like hooded eyes do. And the reality is with hooded eyes, it just doesn't look like that. So you're gonna have to find a way to work around the extra skin on your eyelid. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. On this picture right here, I just wanted to point out how different the crease actually is. So this fold in this person's eye is really high up and it only folds about halfway around, across the eye. A lot of people's eyes are like that. Um, as you can see in this cute little drawing I found on Tumblr, hooded eyes are not like that. The crease goes all the way across the whole eye, even sometimes going farther than the outside of your eye. My eyes look like that. Um, which makes it very difficult, especially to make a winged eyeliner, which is something I'm going to do in the future. If I've already done that, I will link it here, but if not, stay tuned. I will do a winged eyeliner tutorial as well. Um, but you can see the struggle with hooded eyes here in this uh, picture pretty clearly. So this first shape is one that I definitely do the most often. You can do this with a whole bunch of different color combinations. I'm just gonna use some really neutral browns to show you. Uh, but once you get this shape down, it's really gonna change the way you do makeup. So you always wanna start with an eyelid primer if you have hooded eyes. Um, the reason for this is that your eyelid touches itself a lot since it's got that extra skin that's folding every time you open your eye. That is gonna create this big crease line in your eyeshadow if you don't use a primer. The primer is gonna make it stick to your eyelid a lot better, so that won't happen and your eyeshadow will actually stick in place all day. So that is really essential for hooded eyes. I really like this one by CoverGirl. It's pretty cheap and it's really sticky, works really well. So I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush to start and I'm using the Conspiracy palette, but again, I'm just using these brown shades at the top here. I'm gonna start off with this light pink color called My Pills and I'm just laying that down as a base over my whole eyelid just to have like a neutral starting point. 
Then with a fluffy blending brush, I'm going into the shade Tanacon right next to that. It's a light brown shade. And here is where the magic comes in. You are going to create your own crease. So just disregard your crease entirely and pretend your crease is a lot higher on your eye. So you're going to put this light brown shade back and forth with this fluffy brush way up higher than your actual crease. So pretty much right on that brow bone and you're gonna blend it upwards. What this does is create the illusion of a shadow. So it looks like your crease is in this part of your eye and not as low as it actually is. So you definitely wanna make sure that this shade is a matte shade with no shimmer or glitter to it because we're trying to create some depth to the eye here. You can see already how much more open my eye looks just from adding that slight wash of color. With the darker brown shade and a little bit smaller of a brush, I'm gonna connect the outer portion of my lash line to the end of that new crease we just made. So just a straight line out there. This is gonna make your eyelid look a lot bigger. It's giving you a lot more eyelid space there. And it's creating a totally different shape for your eyes. So your eyes gonna be more almond shape this way, which if you have hooded eyes or droopy eyes, this is essentially gonna give you an eye lift with makeup. So I'm just kind of blending that in, creating that new shape. And then I'm taking a little more of that shade and continuing this crease shape. So I'm connecting it from that farthest point out in the crease across that new crease we made. And this is just deepening that shadow effect because this is a deeper, darker color. And it's gonna make that crease look more realistic in that upper portion of the eye. And then I'm just gonna blend this out so it looks really seamless with no harsh lines or anything. But this is essentially a cut crease without all the cutting. So I'm gonna do another video on cut creases for hooded eyes, but that is a way to really make your eyelid look a lot bigger and you can manipulate the shape of your lid that way. This is just a softer version of that, which is really easy to do. You can do it with like two swipes like this. For the underneath of my eye, I'm just putting both of those brown colors. I'm keeping the darker brown closer to my lash line and then blending it out with the lighter brown just to kind of finish off the look. And that is essentially it. Look at how much bigger my eyelid looks. For the second eye shape, this one is called a halo eye. I have done a tutorial on halo eyes before, but I'm gonna keep this one really simple. We're gonna start the same exact way with that eyelid primer. So again, I'm starting with that light pink shade on a flat brush, and I'm just gonna take this down the center of my eye. So this is gonna be the lightest part of my eye, the halo part. It's just a stripe all the way from my eyebrow to my lash line. On my fluffy blending brush, I'm taking the lighter brown shade, Tanacon, and I'm putting that on either side of that stripe we just made. So the inner and outer corner of my eye, and I'm blending that all the way up. I'm not stopping at my natural crease, I'm going far beyond that natural crease because I want this to be visible with my eye open as well. So just blending that on either side of that stripe on my entire eyelid. What this is gonna do is make your eye look a lot more round. You're kinda just ignoring your crease entirely in this one and leaving that center part open, which kinda leaves the shape of your eye open to interpretation because there's no crease to close it off. So. Now I'm just going in with the smaller blending brush and the darker brown shade and deepening up either side of that stripe that we created, keeping that dark part nearer to my lash line. So you kind of want it to like blend out as you go up your eye. But that is essentially it. I'm just kind of creating this effect that the center of my eye stands out more than the edges of my eye. We're basically playing with shadow and light here to create the illusion of a bigger eye.
To finish off this look, I'm doing the same thing on the underneath of my eye with the darker brown near my lash line and the lighter tan blending that out. And those are the finished looks. But I'm gonna show you how you can add shimmer to these. Shimmer on hooded eyes is kind of controversial. Some people think you just shouldn't do it at all because it draws attention and light to parts of your eye that you wanna hide. Um, but I think if you use it in the right spots, it can really help the shape of your look. So with this first shape, I'm just going to put that shimmer shade on the entire lower part of my lid. I'm going to bring it all the way up to that new crease that we made though. I'm not going to stop at my natural crease. I'm going to bring it all the way up to that fake crease. That's a lot higher. And that's going to give the illusion that that whole thing is my eyelid. And then on the second one, the halo eye, I'm just going to add that to that center stripe all the way up to my eyebrow. And that's going to create that same illusion that my eye is much more rounded. And there you have it. So that first shape really elongates your eye and kind of makes it more almond shaped. The second one is really going to open it up and make it look big, round, and awake. They're definitely very different shapes, but they're both going to work well with hooded eyes. And once you get these down, you can do so much with so many different colors. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you learned something today. If you did, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming on hooded eye tips and tricks, as well as just some fun makeup videos coming up. So I really appreciate your support and I will see you in my next one. Bye.